guess they put a fan TV. I'm outside the Riverside. We've drew 1 1 with Blackburn. I have Joe with me. Joe, you know, why didn't we start the first half like we, you know, start the second half? I was thinking to myself, it was like Villa all over again, first half. I mean, we did all right. First 20 minutes, and then the best it's sending off just changed things. And we knew how dangerous Ch Charlie Mulgrew is from, from free kicks, and he just showed why. But um, second, should, should Randolph have saved it? Uh, it's one of them. It's you have. Um, it's gonna. You're gonna he's gonna say that he's not. But I don't think he had a chance with that free kick, to be honest. But um, we came out second half, honestly. But uh, where the, where the heck did a summer longer get that from? You know what I mean? Come off the bench to do that. I mean, that, that's what you want from your strikers. One laying it on, setting it up for his mate and for him to smash it in the top corner. Oh, I'll tell you what, it was a beauty and a half. But as far as I have to pick for man, the match goes. I mean. Daniel Ayala, I mean, that second half performance, I mean, he deserves to be the angel on top of the Christmas tree on Liverpool Road. It's like, it's, it defends, particularly the last 20 minutes, he was sensational. And I, I felt George Savile, when he came on, he, he put a great performance in today. Yeah, he did steady the ship, you know. Um, people say, you know, he's not worth £7 million in, if we get him permanently in January. But he showed, you know, if he, if he starts against QPR next Saturday, he'll be able to steady the ship with uh, Bessie suspended, you know. But it's one of those, it's a point gained, just roll on QPR on Saturday. Do you feel he brings a bit more to our midfield than what Clayton is at the moment? I think so. I think, you know, the only thing for missing for him is the goals. He, he did that when he was at Millwall and Wolves. But I know he's struggling here in a bit, but if he steady the ship like he has done today, I can see him scoring goals soon, I'd say that. Like you say, Tony Pulis has tried absolutely everything today to get us a point, so fair play to the manager. Yeah, I thought bringing Downing off in the second, second half was a bit questionable because I thought he did all right first half, but at the end of the day, it's, it's the manager, it's his decision. At the moment, I'm still saying Pulis we trust. I'd say that for the moment, yeah. Yeah, and like you say, great point. For me, it's a great point and it keeps us in the top six, so. Yeah, it keeps us in the top six for now, so... Just have to roll on. Um, I face our old friend Steve McLaren down in London next week. So hopefully take the three points out of that um, hellhole they call off this road where you can't even fit inside the blooming concourse in half time. Never mind anything else. Joe, thanks for coming on for a fan TV.